Okay, Chevra, we are learning Sefer Petuche Chotam from Rabbeinu Yaakov Avichatzira. It is Parsha Shlach, and if last week we were more of a schmooze, this week we are full in. Full in. And um, we get a little taste of uh, what it means to have Kavana. You know, growing up, I always say, you know, you have to have Kavana when you dive in and Kavana when you say Brachas. And I never knew how to, like, you know, how long can you, you say the words for? Um, Rabbi Yaakov clues us in a little bit into uh, kavanas, which are shemus of Hashem and being mechaven, having in mind and meditating on different ideas while doing different activities. And this specific one is something which we do every day. I've never tried this. Um, I've just learned this, and we're going to learn it together. And maybe Kash Baruch Hu should give us the um, the to be able to get to such a level where we could be machavin such kavanas of Hashem uh, when we do mundane activities like eating. So here we go. This is coming from the parsha of Chalo. There's a mitzvah of being mafresh Chalo, separating a piece of dough that you from your from your uh, dough that you're going to give to the kain. And it says, When you're going to eat from the, land, the bread of your land, of the lands, you should separate truma. When you're breaking the bread, the first of your dough, you should you should give what we call chala. And it should be kachuma's gairin, just like you would give truma from your um uh, from your uh, grain, can't you remove us? You'll also give this. May Rishis Arisei Sechem Titnu Lashem. This is a gift you'll give to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Truma L'Deirei Sechem for all generations. The mitzvah of being Mafresh Chala says Rabbi Yaakov. I'm going to teach you a few things, and we'll be able to see the Ramazim of Kavaris of different meditations one can have while eating. So let's begin. The first, there are three kavanas Rabbi Yaakov discusses here in regards to eating. The first is Nitila Shaddai. The first thing you do before you have bread is you wash your hands. Now, the Yad, the word Yad, re, in reference to Akash Baruch Hu, was mentioned in three places in the Torah. Um, Akash Baruch Hu took us out of Mitzrayim, Biyar Chazaka, Biyar Hagdayla, and Biyar Rama. These are the three Yadis, Kavyach. The gematria of Yad of 14 times 3 gives us 42. 42 is one of the Shemus of Hashem. In the footnote of the um, English, Petuch Echot, put out by Art Scroll, uh, the footnote explains where the Shem and Beis come from. And that is, if you take the Shem, Yud, Hey, Vav, and Hey, the Shem Avaya, that's four letters. If you spell that out, Bemiloi, Yud, Yud, Vav, Dalet, Hey, um, Hey, Aleph, you have 45. Ma. But, and that has 10 letters. If you spell out each of those letters, bemiloi, so you'll spell out yud, vav, dalet. Right? The, the word yud spelled out in the miloi of the miloi. So each letter gets spelled out. You would have 28 letters. 28 plus 10 plus 4 equals 42. That's how many letters you will have in the shame of Yurke Okay, that's where the shame and base comes from. Okay, so that's the kavana of when you're washing your hands, you want to have in mind these three yadis, the shame and base. The second is when you come to say the, the bracha of Hamaitzi. The bracha of Hamaitzi has a hey in the beginning. What, what are you supposed to be machavin when you say the hey of Hamaitzi? Hamaitzi, the one who takes out the bread from the land. The letter hey can be spelled three ways. Hey, Aleph. Hey, hey, and hey, yud. Well, when you think of hey, hey, the, um, and hamaitzi, the hey, hey, so, well, the Shem Havaya has two hey's, a hey, Eloi, an upper hey, the first hey, and hey, tata. So you're supposed to be machav in the two hey's of Hashem's name when you're saying the hamaitzi. Hamaitzi needs to be, the hey needs to have that kavana. Okay? The third kavana, when you're eating, achila, the actual eating itself. You're supposed to be the, the letter Aleph. Okay. Now, the letter Aleph is, if you if you think about it, it's a letter Vav on a diagonal, and it has two Yuds, one on top and one on bottom. Yeah, that's equals 26. But you can also split that Vav in half along the Vav, and then you'll have two Vavs and two Yuds. That's 16 
on the top half and 16 on the bottom half. That's connected the shenayim. That's like your teeth. A adult male uh, or female has um, 32 teeth. 13 on top, 13, I'm sorry, 16 on top, 16 on bottom. Altogether, 32 teeth. Um, that's, you know, to be, you have 28 teeth until you get your um, wisdom teeth in. Then you'll have 32. So 32 teeth are connected to Shinaim, 16 on top, 16 on bottom. That's the letter Aleph, which is split in half along the Vav, gives you 16 and 16. That's the Kavana while you're actually eating food. Is a Kavana you're supposed to have being Machav in the letter Aleph. Okay, these are the Gimel Kavanas that a person can have Bishas Achila while eating. Now, let's take it into the Pasuk. So when you eat, says Rabbi Yaakov, Tarimu Jumal Hashem. Don't just stop eat. When you're eating, give a Shumat Hashem, give a present to Hashem. You know, people think that through davening and through learning, oh, that's a gift to HaKadosh Baruch. And what kind of Kedusha can you bring from just eating? Rabbi Yaakov says, no. Achila, this is coming from the Arizal in Shara Mitzvah, in Parshish Ekev, Achila also has Kavanas. There, there's Nitzitzis of Kedusha, the sparks of holiness that you need to bring out from your food, and you do that through your Kavana, what you're being Machavin, while you're eating. The word lechem, that was from the beginning of the passage, milechem haaretz, lechem equals 38. The shame havaya three times is 38. 78, I'm sorry. Lechem is 78. The shame havaya times three is 78. That's lechem. Melech, it's the same letter, salt. It's also 78. That's why you're supposed to have salt on your table when you're having a meal. We have salt, it's corresponding to the lachem. What do we do with the lachem? We take the lachem and we dip it into the salt. The 78 is a Shema Vaya three times. That is, there's an aspect of justice, of din, and of rachamim. The melech corresponds to the aspects, the, the Indian of din that exists, and the um, the lachem corresponds to the chesed. And we want to be mamtik v'dinim. So we dip our bread into the lechem to unify it, to be mamtik, to sweeten the din, and therefore the word milechem actually spells out melech and lechem overlapping. Milechem is melech lechem because we want to combine the melech with the lechem, and that sweetens. That's an Indian of meat of of being mamtik. The attribute of kindness is being is sweetening the attribute of justice. Lechem is the uh, melech is the din. Lechem is the is the um, is the chesed, and we're putting the two together to be bound to get. Okay, you eat when you are eating. We said when you're eating, you're supposed to be mechaven the letter aleph. Ba'achal chem is begemashi one thirteen. Ba'alef. What should you do when you're eating? Be mechaven ba'alef with an eat with an aleph, which is one thirteen. And again, the kavana is you're splitting the aleph into two, into sixteen and sixteen. The the um, the upper the upper the uh, teeth on top and teeth on bottom. Okay. We go further. Reishis arisa sechem chal trimu trimu. Reishis arisa sechem. Reishis means the beginning, the first thing. So the first of your arisa of, of your of your dough before you eat. What should you do? Before you eat, you wash your hands. What do you do when you wash your hands? So you've been said to be machaven yad three times. Can I get yad chazaka, yad ha rama, and yad gadayla? Yad times three is forty two plus one for the word itself gives us forty three chala. Is forty three. If you spell out the word chala b'miloi chaslam it hey gives you four ninety eight plus one for the word itself is four ninety nine. A remis to netilas the brach we make netilas shadaim is four ninety nine. So reishis arisa zechem before you eat you're already giving chala. We want already a chala, which is the kavana of the yad yad yad. Kitchumas goyer. Now you may think ah oh, this is. Kavanas are for davening and for learning. That's how you, mamish, uh, you bring Kedusha to the world. No, Kedusha is a Geirin. Just like you would do a Truma in the Geirin, you would normally give Truma. Geirin is also the letters 
garon. Garon is your throat, which is the way you make sounds to learn and to daven. Kain tarimu oisa. The same way you could do a truma by davening and learning, so too by eating you can give a truma tasha. Alternatively, the word gairin is 249. The word elekim is 86 times 3 is 258 plus 1 is 259. So you're being mamtik through your eating. You're, through kichumas gairin, you're able to be mamtik dinim through eating and be, uh, be mamtik the dinim of the gairin. Okay. Last pasuk. May reishis arisa sechem again. May reishis arisa sechem. Before you eat. What do you do? You have to make a bracha to do Lashem Chuma. You have to give a Chuma to Hashem. That's what? By making a bracha. What bracha do we make? Hamaitzi. We said the Kavana, when you say Hamaitzi, the first letter, the Hey, is split into two Hey, Hey. You have to be Mamtik. You have to think of a Hey, Eloi, and a Hey, Tata. So Titnu Lashem, Chiraim, Hey. Give a Chuma to the Hey. Specific Kavana, when we make this bracha, is specifically to the Hey. Alternatively, when you're before you eat, give a blessing, give a bracha before and after you're going to eat this food. And when do you do this? This is something that can be done at all times, at all food for future generations. Give us. I mean, this is amazing stuff for what? This is crazy. That Rabbi Yaakov is giving us this chus. You know, we don't learn Shara Mitzvahs, we're not learning the Arizal. And he gives us a little bit. Maybe we can, when we eat, I have a little kavana just to, to make a bracha with a little bit more kavana, or just to say the bracha clearly. But then we can have with something, you know, when you have a little bit more to do, it makes you do the, you know, even the more basic stuff better. So Hakadosh Baruch should give us the schus to be able to be mamtik all the dinim and to feel the sweetness of Hakadosh Baruch through through even achila. Have a great Shabbos.